Welcome to Sailor Nation Sports Network. I'm Paul Tiefenthal with Joe Kanukin on the camera. We're here up in the observation booth high above Lakeshore Sports Center. I'm um, here to interview head varsity coach Chris Benedict. Coach, I know we talked about doing an interview earlier this year after tryouts, but then uh, we had media day and everything rolled up, right? And uh, then we were into the season, and we both know what kind of whirlwind that turns into as we get going, right? So here we are. So that brings us here today. We only have one game left, regular season on the schedule. Uh, so this was your first year at the helm. Uh, why don't you give us your thoughts on the season and how it's progressed through the year? Well, you know, Paul, um, you blink and the season's over. Uh, it, it's, it's hard to believe that we've only got one regular season game left. Um, but overall during the season, I thought, uh, I thought the guys competed uh, hard practicing, day in day out and um in games and you know we we had a little adversity at the beginning of the season and um once we once we got everybody back uh we started rolling and then we would go on a little bit of a slide and so the the consistency which i was trying to preach to the boys all season um started to come along and um they continued to buy in and um, you know, now we're, we're, it's a process, right? It is a process. It yeah. is a process. And you always say no peaks too high, no, no valleys too low. Yeah. You know, I tell them all the time. I said, you can't ride the, the emotional roller coaster. Right. Um, it's okay to be excited when we score and it's okay to be bummed out when they score, but we don't want to get too high. We don't want to get too low. So. So let's talk a little bit about your senior leadership this year. You, you've got eight seniors. Um, Let's talk about those guys. How are they coming through for you as leaders for this year's team? You know, the, the senior class has been great for us. Um, obviously led by uh, Connor and Justin Winnegar, um, four-year starters on, on the varsity program. Um, Connor being our captain and Justin being an assistant captain. So uh, for me, it's, it's been fun to watch them um, progress from their freshman year to uh, being to where they're at right now. and. Uh, it's, I'm sad to see him go when it's over. Um, hopefully that won't be for a few more weeks here. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we, you look at Nolan Kasher, um, state champion in football, uh, named an assistant captain by his peers here uh, with us. Um, Nolan's done a great job for us um, in the locker room and just keeping guys at a even keel like, uh, like we talk about. And Caden Molema, he, I love the kid to death. He's, uh, he's got an incredible sense of humor, uh, and he's a pretty good hockey player. So uh, those two go together pretty well. Right. And, uh, you know, Jacob Leibrandt, he, he came to us this year, uh, came back from AAA, and unfortunately he's been bitten by the injury bug quite a bit this year. Uh, but when he's in the lineup, he, he's doing a heck of a job for us. And Austin Grimm, I don't know. Austin, I yeah, I don't, you know, I don't know where you go there. Right? I I talk about Caden's uh, sense of humor. Well, Austin Grimm is times four. Yes, uh, Austin's always got something to say, and uh, he's always making guys laugh, and he keeps the locker room um, lighthearted and um, stress free as as much as we can. And right, right. Uh, Nathan Taylor, an, another senior that came to us this year, um, just an incredible hockey player. Um, Definitely Probably. a difference maker when he hits the ice, for sure. By far. Uh, one of the, if not the best, hockey player that I've, we've had here at Shores in the last six, seven years that I've been here. Right. Um, and then Jared West. You know, Jared, Jared's done a nice job for us. He was a uh, forward last year, and uh, we com converted him to a defenseman this year. And, um, you know, he took it in stride and, and has done very well for us. So, you know, our seniors are great. Uh, I'm going to miss them when they're gone. And... Um, but we're not planning on that for, like I said, the middle of March. There you go. Yep. So let's talk about your goaltending pair a little bit here. Uh, you got a couple of juniors on the back end in the net. Um, we both know solid goaltending down the stretch here is key. Yeah, hey, absolutely. Um, and, you know, uh, TJ and Zach uh, have, have pushed, them, pushed each other uh, the whole season, and uh, it's, it's fun to watch them compete. Um, you know they're good friends, and like they don't they don't let the playing time or who's starting or 
this or that, um, get in between that, and um, and they just they work hard enough to to push the other guy to be better, and it's a back and forth thing, and and that's really what you look for in a, a goaltender tandem. Um, you don't want the negativity of hey this guy's starting and I'm not getting the start, and uh, you know they've been great and. And yeah, both of them have a very good positive attitude, and yeah, and, uh, it's, yep. it's nice. Yeah, so you know, along with your your junior goaltender, you've got some uh, junior and sophomore under underclassmen as well coming up that are going to be key for you the next couple of years as as we go forward with the program. So let's talk a little bit about your junior and sophomore kids that are that are uh, coming up through. Yeah. Uh... Well, three of my juniors uh, are actually all on one line right now, and that's uh, Dylan Dieselberg, uh, Scotty Cotner, and Cole Myers. And, you know, those, those guys, um, they're not afraid to go to dirty areas. Uh, they're hard working. Um, you know, Scotty's got a great shot. Um, Cole's a grinder, and Diesel is just diesel. Uh, a diesel. It goes with the name, right? Diesel, yeah. it goes with the name. He's 100 yeah. miles an hour, and... Um, He'll either go around you or he'll go through you. Yeah. And you know Over what, that's all, all three of them will do the same thing. So, um, you know, and a couple uh, junior defensemen with uh, Brennan Detloff and uh, Tyler Chahorsky, uh, both both took on uh, a little more um, responsibility this year uh, after being on the team last year. And, and both are doing a really nice job for us. And Andrew Taylor, AT, um, he's... He's a spark plug. When uh, when he goes, uh, the guys around him notice and picks everybody um, up and, a little and bit. And he picks everyone up. Also, uh, another jokester. He likes to have a good time. And and you know what? Like it's. I love it. I love having a good time. I like uh, I like the boys having a good time. They know um, when it's time to work and when it's time to have a good time. So. Right. Um, looking at our sophomores, um, Diego Pena, um, Colin Jackson. You know, both new to the team this year. Uh, I didn't really know what to expect out of Diego, um, but he's been unbelievable for us. Um, he's a workhorse. He's so strong, uh, got a good shot, and, and he plays positionally sound. Um, and Colin, I knew a little bit of Colin. Um, I coached him one year um, with the, the Junior Jacks, and um, I knew what I was getting with him, and he surprised me even. Even this year, he's played really, really well. Um, and then, of course, Ty Langlois. Uh, it's his second year. It's it's Ty's second year, yep. Yeah. And, you know, Ty holds the school record for most goals in a game with five last year as a freshman um, in our playoff game against Manistee. Right. Um, and he didn't slow down this year. No, um, he's, he's uh, got he, a good pace going this yeah, year. Yeah, he's got a, a good pace going. Uh, he grew over the summer. Uh, I know he's happy about that. We finally Mom, got equipment that fits him. That's, right, what, that's, right. a, that's a win in my book, right? <laughs> Mom, and dad, Mom and dad are happy that he grew. And, um, you know, Ty's great. Um, and, and as the season's progressed, he's taken on a little bit more of a leadership role himself. Uh, you know, Ty was, would be a, the quiet type as a freshman. And, right. Um, yeah, I catch him now talking a little more to the guys and um, – keeping him up, someone makes a bad pass in practice or, or whatever it may be, Ty's there talking him up. And um, so it's been nice to see uh, just in the, the, sh the year and almost two, two years now with Ty, um, his development. It's yeah. been great. Yep. So let's talk a little bit about this amazing freshman class you got. Uh, <laughs> you know, I've been around long enough knowing taking freshmen sometimes like rolling the dice. You don't really know what you're going to get until about halfway through the season. Yeah. Um, and I, I know a little bit about this freshman class. Um, you know, Jake Nana, uh, another one with, like, uh, Colin Jackson. Uh, I coached him with the Junior Jacks. And um, Jake will do anything you ask for of him. He'll run through a brick wall. Yep. Um, and he's extremely strong. Uh, I would say he's probably stronger than, than some of the upperclassmen that we play against. Uh, Without a he's, doubt. He's not afraid to put in the work in the off season, and, and it shows. Um, and he's going to continue to put it's the like work a three, in. A three-sport athlete. Yeah. So they, yes. you know that that's that's huge. I mean, there's a lot of different muscle set groups that these kids work for different sports, and yep. And it makes them that much better in each and every sport, I think. Yep. Absolutely. And then, um, you know, Isaac Haviler, uh 
he's just a little playmaker, um, and I don't say little lightly. Uh, he's he goes hard. Um, he'll he'll go to the dirty areas. He's probably one of the probably one of the smallest kids on the ice in in most games we play, and uh, he doesn't play like it. Um, he sees the ice very very well. Uh, he's got uh, he's got. I'm not sure how many goals he has, but um, he's he's been on the score scoreboard this year, and uh, I think he's five points. I don't know. Yeah, from there. So yep. And then um, little Benny. Little Benny. Um, kind of knew what you were getting there. Yeah, I didn't know what I was getting there. Um, you know, I'm I'm I've been impressed with him. Uh, I didn't know. You know, it's been an adjustment for him uh, transferring. Um, schools that he's been in for his whole life to come up here. Granted, he had a lot of friends here. Um, he's hung around the hockey program for many, many years. Um, so he just he just kind of fit right in, and um, you know he he he's just producing. And yeah. It's uh, well, it's it's him and Ty competing for the leading goals. Yeah. It goes it's been going back and forth for the yeah. Now Moles is sneaking up there, but yep. But uh, it's a good so, competition, and you know the dynamic, the coach and son dynamic sometimes can be a little difficult. Yeah. But yeah. you guys seem to be handling it fine. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know it is, and you know I've learned uh, I've learned over the years coaching him that uh, um, the older he gets, the less he listens to me. So that's why I have um, I've got some really good assistants and. Um, I try to leave him alone and let uh, let the other guys talk to him. And um, if there's something I see on the ice that he did, then then I'm not every time saying something to him. Right. So he's he's more receptive to that. And and uh, it's well, it helps a, with the diverse staff that you have. Yes, it helps a lot. Yep. So so no, um, the freshmen. I'm really impressed with the freshmen this year. Yeah, so, I'm uh, I'm looking forward to big things out of them in the uh, coming years and. And uh, we're excited that uh, they're going to be a core of it. So good, good. So, so let's talk about the giant elephant in the room, and I don't mean Joe. <laughs> no offense, Joe. Um, we got a big game coming Friday night. Yeah. Right. Could ultimately decide the league championship for us in the Fisher Division. Yeah. Um, yeah. So let's talk a little bit about that game. It should be a real battle between two really good teams again. Yeah, I almost guarantee it's going to be a, a really good. Really good matchup on Friday night um, against Hudsonville. Uh, you know, we played them a couple weeks ago, and uh, it was neck and neck the, the whole game. And we scored with nine seconds left in the game to win 3-2. So uh, I know they're going to be hungry, and we know that they have to beat us to be in the running for a conference championship, and we know that we have to beat them to win a conference championship. So. Uh, we have the one game left. They have the two. Um, yeah, they, they have they, Jenison, they have Jenison on, on, on Saturday. Saturday yeah. So um, we win Friday night, and it's all wrapped up for us. And I know our guys will be ready to go, and uh, they're already chopping at the bit. And it's uh, yeah, we're excited. We're, we're ready for Thursday to be over. Right, right. So after after Friday, then next uh, Saturday, we're on the road to start the playoffs up in Ludington. Um, we got Manistee, and then the winner of that goes up to Traverse to play Traverse City Central. Um, how do you like our matches up there? Uh, Manistee, you know, I, playoffs are tough because uh, everybody's fighting for their lives. It's uh, it's not a double elimination tournament, and you have a bad game and lose, and your season's over. Um, so it, everyone's going to be scratching and clawing to um, – Get a toehold. Yeah, to to continue their season, and um, you know Manistee doesn't have the best record, but we're not going to take them lightly, and um, it's just uh, it's one rung on the ladder that we're trying to climb to get to Plymouth, and um, it starts with them. And if we're lucky enough to get past Manistee, then uh, we're looking at the winner of Petoskey and Traverse City Central. And right. Then, yeah, I misspoke there. It will be the winner of that game. Yeah, uh, and obviously uh, Petoskey ended our season last year. Uh, so uh, we'd love to play them and uh, return the favor. Sure. Um, the probably the favorite in that game is Traverse City Central, and uh, I think they're they're ranked fifth or sixth in the state. Last I along. saw, they were ranked sixth. Yes. Uh, so we know that's going to be a good game, but yep. um, we we can't look ahead uh, past Manistee, and uh, we'll. 
take care of business there and take the boys up to Traverse City on a Wednesday night. Hopefully, yep, hopefully we'll move on through. So, hey, thanks, Coach, for taking the time to be with us here. Um, remember, folks, come on out to Lakeshore on Friday night. Uh, Warm-ups will start at 5.30, puck drop probably around 5.45. So from Joe and here and Coach Benedict and I above the ice surface here at Lakeshore, that is all. Carry on.